So welcome to part one of topic one uh, in the channel hydraulics module. In this part, we're going to deal with friction formulae in open channels. We'll talk about the derivation of the Chessy equation, the Manning roughness coefficient, and then the friction factor. But before we begin, I want to remind you of the darcy weisbach equation, which you almost certainly encountered in your fluid mechanics course. This gives the flow velocity within the pipe as a function of the diameter of the pipe D, the energy gradient S sub F, and a friction factor F. Now the question we're asking in this um, video is, what's the equivalent equation for open channels? In fact, you can actually apply the darcy weisbach equation to open channels, and we'll get to that later on in this video. But first of all, we're going to derive the Chessy equation. And that's based on the force balance at uniform flow. Remember, at uniform flow, there's no deceleration and acceleration, so the force applied by flow resistance on the water body at the, at the channel boundary is exactly equal and opposite to the force applied by the downstream component of gravity. Now we're going to express this force um, balance uh, in mathematical terms and use that, um, that mathematical equation to derive the Chessy equation. If we consider a short uh, section of the river channel of length L, we'll construct our force balance for this L. And to uh, estimate, to calculate flow resistance, we use this um, expression, which gives flow resistance as the product of the mean shear stress acting at the boundary of the water vo volume, so the boundary with the, with the river channel, times the area over which that acts. And the area over which that shear stress acts is given as a product of the wetted perimeter, which is equal to the um, distance around the uh, perimeter of the channel, uh, channel cross-section that's wet, times the length of that um, uh, section of the channel. The downstream component of gravity is given by this second expression, where the density times cross-sectional area times length L gives us the mass of that water volume, and G sine theta is the downstream component of the gravitational acceleration. So that's the force balance in mathematical terms. Of course, we can cancel L um, from both sides. And typically, uh, in a, an open channel, the gradient, the stream gradient, is less than about 1 in 100, or 0.01. And under these conditions, sine theta um, approximately equals the gradient of the stream. That's the, the distance uh, of fall over the distance of travel. So the force balance can be simplified to um, shear stress at the bed equals the cross-sectional area divided by the wetted perimeter times the product of uh, density, gravitational acceleration, and the stream gradient. And we define hydraulic radius, a new term, which, really re which represents the geometry of the cross -section, channel cross-section as um, cross-sectional area divided by wetted perimeter, which gives us um, the formula for the, the, the bed shear stress under uniform flow conditions is the product of density, gravity, um, hydraulic radius, and stream gradient, rho g r s. Now, Chessy uh, assumed that the shear stress was somehow proportional to the flow velocity squared. It's you know, common that in a fluid, uh, friction is proportional to um, frictional forces are proportional to the velocity uh, velocity squared. Substituting that into our force balance, we get um, this expression. And if we define a, a coefficient, which which has become known as the Chessy coefficient, uh, as the um, square root of density times gravitational acceleration divided by our constant of proportionality k. Um, we get the Chessy equation. Flow velocity equals Chessy's coefficient times the square root of hydraulic radius times channel gradient. Now Chessy's equation uh, is used in some places, but in fact it's the Manning equation developed by Robert Manning um, some decades later, which has become the industry standard. And Manning um, adapted the Chessy equation to give velocity in terms of his Manning coefficient n, where the velocity is um, the, the product of 1 over n, his, his roughness coefficient, times r raised to the 2 thirds power 
time st stream gra gradient um, raised to the um, half power. And equating those two equations, the Chezy equation and the Manning equation, we can actually express the Chezy coefficient in terms of the Manning roughness coefficient, and that equals hydraulic radius to the 1 6th power divided by the Manning n. So this is the equation um, that you'll be applying um, in, your, um, in your work mostly. It's the common, easily accepted um, equation for, for modeling flow velocity in uniform flow of open channels. Now, we, if we go back to the darcy weisbach equation, um, in fact, this can also be written, um, uh, can also be applied to open channels. If we, um, if we consider that the hydraulic radius for a pipe, that's the cross-sectional area divided by wetted perimeter, is equal to four times the diameter of the pipe, we can rewrite this using hydraulic radius uh, in this way. Um, and again, we can relate the friction factor back to um, the other coefficients, um, both the Chezy coefficient and Manning's roughness coefficient. I personally actually prefer this equation because the friction factor is a dimensionless um, coefficient and it has no units, whereas the Chezy um, coefficient and the Manning N both have um, dimensions. Well, that's the end of uh, part one of this video. In part two, look at how the flow resistance formula are applied to the situation of gradually varied flow and also how we estimate roughness coefficients in natural channels.